Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and start us off with a word of prayer and then we'll get right into gameplay, Lord willing. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this video. I ask that you saturate this atmosphere with your presence, that you bless us with your rest and your peace, that you have your way, Holy Spirit, that you do what only you can do. And I thank you so much for it, Sovereign Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, guys. Before I get started, I want to go ahead and remind you guys to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified the next time God blesses me to upload another video, Lord willing, and to share it if you enjoy it. All right, let's get into this gameplay. All right, y'all, welcome back. Oh, I lost my favorite axe. Okay, Robin, free gold, praise the Lord. Okay, so y'all, what I've decided that I'm going to do next, like the direction I'm gonna take this in is, is this ready? Three days. Let me start watering these before I forget. What I want to do is I want to start preparing to be able to make more fertilizer. So, you know, advanced fertilizers, they require things like pine tar and coral and oak resin and she needs to start tapping trees. I think I unlocked the tree tapper recipe in the previous episode, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, after I finish this, I'm gonna go ahead and have her head over to, well, actually, actually I said I was preparing for the festival. That's what I said I was gonna do. So I was gonna run over to Pierre's to get more um, flower seeds. But then the festival, the egg hunt festival is in three days or it's in two days. It's on the 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then there's the flower dance festival at the end of the month. Y'all cannot believe I forgot to fill Petunia's water bowl and I forgot to give her snuggles. Where's the baby? Oh, she's over there sleeping. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Get some love. Oh my gosh. I hope she isn't mad at me. You saw she walked off the second I walked over there. <sighs> Guys, cannot forget to give the fluffy baby love. Let me see. We have basic fertilizer. That's good. Let me start. Oh, where do I want to start it though? I kind of want to start it away from this. So I think I'll start a tree farm right here. I've turned her seeds into field snacks. Okay, that's understandable. It makes sense, honestly. Do we have the recipe? We do have the tapper recipe. It requires 40 wood and two copper bars. We have, we definitely have the wood and we do have the copper bars. We have enough to at least make five um extra food actually i did forget i did that so we actually need pine cones let me go ahead and get some more um cut down some more pine trees get some more pine cones i want to get at least three i'm gonna do a three by three three pine trees three oak trees and three maple trees okay so i think it'll be a three by three here and i don't think we have the trees we definitely do not have the tree sap recipe like that's not going to be unlocked until later if i'm not mistaken one two three okay i'm gonna have that there let me go ahead can i make paths i want to make some paths cobblestone Let's make some cobblestone paths. Okay, that way this doesn't like sprout seeds in the middle between each seed. So she can just walk through. I am not going to be dismissive. I'm gonna make some tappers and start. I'm gonna just go ahead and put them on the trees. Are there any like closer or? Child, I'm gonna keep it. I was real productive in cutting down them trees. There are no trees in close proximity to where she is, like her house. You'll have to, we have to be intentional about um, finding the trees and tapping the trees. Okay, so let's do at least one of each. Should I tap them down here? I think that's a bad idea if I tap them down here. Yeah, let me just tap the ones over here like I was gonna do from the start, but didn't because I wanted to try to find something closer. Okay, one, two. Okay, we got an oak and a maple. Um, Usually I would capitalize on what the pine tar because that's required for kegs, but we're really not gonna need that. So we do need pine tar for fertilizer we also need oak resin for fertilizer so let me actually get another oak tree so we have two pine trees tapped why did i tap that one all the way over here and not this one like what in the world child my goodness and i'm gonna just clear out the space around it okay her energy is dwindling down so we have 
two oak trees tapped, one maple tree, and two pine trees, which is really good. We do need oak resin and pine tar, so I went ahead and tapped those first. And once these grow up, I'll just make more um make more tappers and move the ones off the ones that are spread out and uh transfer them to the ones in the little the little mini tree farm also y'all you know what i was contemplating i'm thinking about completing another bundle in the community center just so i can complete the blacksmith's bundle wait do i have access to it now by any chance no I want to create a uh, complete the black blacksmith's bundle because I want her to be able to I need to repair this bridge easy work over here praise the Lord easy work Ooh, and look what's over there coral but yeah I want her to complete the uh I want her to have the carts so she can go back and forth quicker I also want her to be able to go to skull caverns to get iridium to upgrade her tools to iridium quality because I mean in all seriousness it takes three hits with an iridium axe to completely clear out an entire tree with the stump so I don't think that's a question that needs answers or consideration or anything like that I think it's pretty straightforward if you ask me hey Penny I'm gonna leave her alone Oh, there's no quests it's 6 40 it's still kind of early but her energy is low enough we can just call it a night and have her pick up first thing in the morning after i check for forageables okay y'all i went on ahead and made another chest for beach forageables because why not it, it'll be a separate thing and this is a fish so some of the fertilizer requires fish and this will actually suffice for that so yeah more flowers praise the lord tomorrow we're holding the egg festival yep 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 okay i wish i was just thinking like i wish we could like water tree seeds and make them grow faster but it's not an option unfortunately <gasps> petunia i haven't forgotten about you sweet baby i'm so sorry i should have filled her water bowl first oh my gosh yeah, I was thinking like I would it would be really cool if we could just water tree seeds and they'll grow quicker or something. I know there's the tree fertilizer, but that doesn't unlock until significantly later and yeah. Actually I don't know at which point it unlocks. I feel like it's like level ten farming or, or foraging or something like that. I don't know. We'll see eventually. Child, let me go ahead and get um Robin's axe and um so we can go ahead and complete that quest. That's an extra 250 in our pockets, Lord willing. Also, I just remembered if I'm not mistaken, forageables are at their fullest on Thursdays, I think, of the week. And they reset on Sundays. So it's like I don't know why it's Thursday. I don't know why it would be Thursday. I don't know. I could be wrong, but they basically reset Sunday. So you need to get what you can while you can before Sunday. While I'm, since I'm down here, might as well. And this is such a big area. Actually, you know what? Went on hit and zoomed all the way out so I could see more of what is over here and what's not over here. Cause I'm not about to sit here and take extra steps to take extra time to try to go to the edge of the screen when I have the luxury to zoom out and see from afar off if there are any forage seasonal forageables. I'm traveling card is here. I'm gonna ignore the mess out of her because if she has anything that I would need, I could actually like purchase it right now. And I'm trying to save our money for tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, like if we don't hate hey, Petunia, sweet baby. And if not tomorrow, we can um why did I forget to collect these flowers while I was over here, child? If not tomorrow, we can stockpile her money for the flower festival. The flower dance, not the flower festival, but the flower dance. Hey Robin girl, how you doing today, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Can't have you chopping your toes off, child. You you we need you to do work. Thanks for the gold. Okay, well, since we are over here, I'm gonna have a check for like forageables, which, yay, a leak. 
then we're gonna go head into the mines lord willing i cannot wait until that um until the spa opens up because my goodness yeah i'm gonna go ahead lord willing i'm gonna complete more bundles to unlock the the mine carts because this is this taking too long and i know she can afford coffee right now but i'd rather have her save her money and spend it on things that are going to benefit her quicker they're going to benefit her more in the long run okay so we just got another dagger this is going to be more beneficial to us so we'll keep the burglars shank and trash this one and I'm not going to upgrade my trash can because I am just realizing that if with an upgraded trash can, she can actually reclaim the value of her items. And I'm just realizing today is a good luck day. Look at that amethyst she just got. This little quick attack move is taking them out. Ooh, that was crispy. Yes. Oh. I wasn't trying to go down, but okay. It is okay, because we're advancing at a really great rate, so. <sighs> Glowing. Praise the Lord. We're going to need that for the dark levels. Y'all, I will say, like, on good luck days, uh, whenever you go into the mines, check the rocks. If you're trying to advance quicker in the mines, check the rocks next to the door first. Or, like, the, uh, the ladder where you um, descended check those rocks first because on a good luck day how that impacts your journey in the mines is that it increases your chances of finding a, a ladder see how close this is to the ladder let me get this uh, copper over here though but yeah if you're trying to just get deeper into the mines don't be afraid of knocking out all the ladders next to or excuse me all the rocks next to the ladder at the entrance of the level like, I'm going to take my time and bust through all these rocks. That is, like, the one time it's actually worth busting through all the rocks. And these levels with the train tracks, they always have some kind of coal at the end of the level. Or at the end of it. If I can get to level 30, that'll be great. Got to level 30, praise the Lord. We got a sword, um, an iron edge. This is 14 to 19 damage, right? Like with a dagger, it's that's 9 to 11 damage, and you got you're hitting 9 to 11 damage, like, like that's four or five 9 to 11s back to back. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus. Blessings on blessings, blessings on blessings. Oh my gosh, two quality sprinklers baby we are blessed i don't care the second she gets back to the farm we putting these little bad boys down because we have we have the space and opportunity to do so now praise the lord do i have extra mixed seed? not mixed seeds she has mixed seeds right here do we have extra um wild seeds i need to check to see if she has enough for wild seeds okay where can i put these okay so i can actually put one right here and I can put one right here and not have any overlap. I know I know it's not organized. I know it doesn't look cute, but it's okay. Cause baby, that's less work. Okay. Let's go ahead and plow this ground. Put the mix seeds there. There we go. Actually, we can go ahead and plant this, these grass seeds. Cause why not? Let's see what else. It's 1230. Oh, I was gonna check to see if she had something for mix seeds. She needs a dandelion. Child, how we how do we not have you know what? It's okay because I planted I made a sacrifice and planted some um if I'm not mistaken, these are uh, yeah, spring seeds. Planted some spring seeds to be able to um make more spring seeds so we can have them for tea saplings. Okay, y'all. Uh, let's not even forget Petunia's always first. Well, we keep God first and then um, Petunia. The big egg hunt festival is today. Normally we would be saving up for strawberries, but not, not today. And guys, the sprinklers, it's making our job so much easier, praise the Lord. But yeah, we're not doing strawberries. We're trying to see, I'm going to see if there are any cute decor decorative, like floral decorations that I can pick up from the egg hunt festival. I think it'll be ready at nine, the festival. So I'm just probably gonna go and clean out, clean off her land some more. She must've went to bed really late last night because her energy is just, oh my gosh. 
Okay, so the egg festival just begun. We're gonna finish off this tree. We're gonna head right on over there, little one. Okay, Pierre, what do you have for us? Um, seasonal plants, decorative pitchfork. Uh, dealing with flowers doesn't require a pitchfork, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. But I will get her some seasonal plants. Maybe this for the table and maybe this for her uh, bed. Let me get one more because I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Let me find a, here she is. I was going to say, let me find and talk to Caroline so we can get some friendship points with her. Okay, it looks like we can only speak with her once. And Linus. Oh, it just comes for the, for the deviled eggs. And let's talk to Shane. Oh, he really has a soft spot for animals. That makes him so much more attractive. I'm not talking to anybody else. Let's start. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, that was an egg. She walked. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There we go. That's one. Yes, yes. I was like, let me just get that last egg. It looks like there was an egg in that bush right there. Oh, praise the Lord. Thanks. Okay. So uh, we got it, a hat, but in the future, I think you get like, you get a cash prize. Okay, now well, let, let's don her prize. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Looking cute. Looking cute. Okay. You, what do you mean this can't go on her table? What in the world? I was ready to. Boy, I was ready to put this on her table. The disrespect, honestly, high key disrespectful. Let's just do a little bit of redecoration. Okay, so I had these at the head of her bed, but because of because of like her being able to get in and out of the bed, I couldn't keep them at the head of her bed because like in its state even, um, like this is blocking her ability to get into the bed like this. Wait, can I like? Yeah, even putting it up here, like, it's it's still blocking her. So I have everything like this. I put this little plant down here. The table, chair. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Today's Haley's birthday. We shall give... Hey, Petunia. Sweet baby. Here's your water. We shall give her um, a daffodil for her birthday. Haley likes daffodils. It's actually on her profile as a like to gift so yes and her rice is ready today oh well this is decent timing pierre's opens at nine so oh i thought i was doing good leaving early i hate to have the water leave the watering can empty and i think i'm gonna just have her go ahead and turn in for the night whenever her energy gets low after she plants these flowers that we're about to get her because i mean it's ridiculous at this point um do we have a joke we do not have a joke cola hey pierre i'm gonna go holler at your wife really quickly say hey and she's literally behind closed doors Be caroline like what in the world how far do we have we're almost there so this flower today she'll put her over the edge lord willing just splurge on the jazz seeds 
Caroline, really, girl? What time do you come out of here? Hold on, let me check. She's not going to be out until around like 1.30ish, 1, 1 1.30. So honestly, that's not too bad, praise the Lord, because by the time we're done planting these flowers, she'll be out and about. She should be wandering the aisles of their general store. Okay, now that those are all planted, let's go check on Caroline. Because this silver quality daffodil should get her at uh, over to two hearts. And I don't know if I need to go away and come back or what, how that cutscene works. But we're going we're gonna to figure it out, Lord willing. Okay, Abigail. Actually, I think she's going to walk over to the shelf at 1.30. She's supposed to walk over to the shelf. I thought it was saying she was going to be... Okay, yeah, at 1.30 she walks over to the shelf. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Um, I like... I encourage rest. Yeah, I'm sure. How many hearts? Caroline. Really? This little bit? Girl, let me say something to your husband real quick. Let's see. How many hearts do we have with Pierre? Seriously, because we've been giving him his liked gifts. Oh. Okay, how much heart? How many hearts do we have with Pierre? Oh, okay, so we only have one heart. Haley likes daffodils. If we can, if I can find one, I'll give it to her because that's the best gift we can give her right now for her birthday that we have access to. If there aren't any here, then there'll definitely be some in the backwoods. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's one right here. Oh, praise the Lord. And it's gold quality. Haley, happy birthday. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Okay, so we have three hearts with Haley. Yeah, I think at this point I'm going to just take her to bed so she can have a full bar of energy. I'm not going to sit and run through her food just to run through her food and get work done. Like, I'd rather just have her go to bed and be just as effective the next day. Oh, and it's raining today. Praise the Lord. I didn't realize that. Oh, and we can get salmon berries today. Grab her some extra cash. We'll be eating them. We can get this to make, use this to make spring seeds lord willing all right so let me just put all her stuff in here because i mean honestly it's not it's not the end of the world how many spring seeds can we make 40 good honestly okay y'all so i just made an extra chest for seeds and gardening stuff as you can see right here where i'm gonna keep all her fertilizers all her seeds and her gardening stuff so even if it can turn into mixed seeds i'm gonna I'm keep it in here um lord willing and then at the end of each season so once spring is over with and summer comes through i will sell the rest of her stuff unless she can eat it like dandelions and horseradish that'll give her energy and health but daffodils do not so i will be selling these for profit once the season closes out lord willing honestly high key i'm not trying to clear out anything extra right now y'all I couldn't remember if we unlocked the cutscene with Demetrius and I on this save file. What is this in the corner? Is this like a lamp? If it was, it wouldn't have been. Because this light right here is her. This is residual light from the outside of the cave. What is this? I feel like if it was a lamp, there would have been some like light right here. But anyway, I went in there to look to see if she had anything in there to eat. And Lord willing, I think I'm going to do the fruit cave because ooh, salmon berries i wasn't even paying attention but uh, i think i'm gonna do the fruit bat cave simply because that's a variety of food that can give her energy and while yes she can eat some mushrooms she cannot eat all mushrooms she cannot eat all mushrooms and gain health but um i think i'm gonna go with the fruit bat cave for that reason because i mean everything she can harvest everything from there and just have extra food in general so yeah okay y'all let's get in these mines also i just remembered i need to go to clint's to upgrade her pickaxe at a certain point because before she gets to level 40 and she might i might end up making it to level 40 like today but once she hits level 40 in the mines 
Yo, these daggers are making easy work out of these monsters. Look. Anyway, once she gets to level 40 in the mines, she'll have to, um, it'll take like three or four hits for a, uh, a rock. Like four hits, and that's too much. And I do, I did say I wanted her to go down to a complete part of the uh, community center because I want her to unlock the carts as well as the skull cavern so she can get access have access to iridium quality tools i leveled up in combat praise the lord yeah i just opened the quest menu on accident and i completely forgot about sam or demetrius's um demetrius's cola made it to level 35 good timing good timing we can easily make it to level 40 at this rate because, I mean, why not? And honestly, the quicker the better because... Oh, thank you, Jesus. See? The quicker the better because we can get access to silver or iron ore to unlock the iron... Um, to get iron bars. And iron bars mean sprinklers. Quality sprinklers. We already have our first iron. I didn't even realize that. Wait, no we don't. I mean, it's not our first iron. Have we unlocked the boiler room yet? We haven't even unlocked the boiler room yet. Yeah, I leveled up in mining, praise the Lord. I was thinking we unlocked the boiler room and we gave some, um, and we gave an iron bar to complete that. Let me just get all these copper, get all these copper nodes. So that is our first iron iron ore. Let me see if I can outrun these monsters. Why are you so extra fast? Like, leave me alone. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. I thank God that I was able to unlock to get a glow ring before I even hit the level, the thirty levels, the levels in the thirties. Because it's just like now you can make it work if you have a torch. So how you do that, if you don't know, is hit your hit a torch on the ground with your pickaxe and then you carry it around with you. I would suggest putting it like maybe putting your pickaxe in the middle or putting the torch between your your sword or your weapon and your pickaxe, putting the torch in the middle. So then that way you could just switch back and forth effortlessly. Y'all, Dimitri is just not going to get that Joja Cola. I know I accepted that quest, but I forgot about it. He's just not going to get that Joja Cola. Now, if it is still available tomorrow, we'll get it for him. But other than that, actually, it's still kind of early. Is this the last day? Yeah, it's the last day. I was about to say, we could have fished one out of the little pond on her little lake on her farm but yeah no nah, i ain't about to do that well actually we can see because on the off chance that we can still get it to demetrius we can still get some extra cash so if you are new to playing stardew or you just maybe you don't play it but you just like watching the gameplay these little ponds that are available on each farm emphasis on little ponds because I'm thinking about the beach farm as well. Now the beach farm, you can get fish, okay, on that farm. Whenever you fish on the farm in the ocean water, you can get the same ocean fish that you that your character could get at the beach during the same time bracket intervals, if I'm not mistaken. But these little ponds like this, the only thing you can fish from them are trash. Now, I think every farm has like a larger lake little area and I don't know. I'd have to test it. I'm not trying to test it right now or anything, but ooh, I thought she could walk around that. But like this right here, I'm thinking maybe you can get some fish out of here. I'm not going to sit and test it now because it's getting late. But uh, yeah, you can only get trash out of these little ponds over there. And um, Joja Cola is one of those options. So say you are doing that quest for Linus where you can um oh she can smoke more bars praise the lord say you're doing that quest for Linus where he invites you to clean up the area oh we can build another furnace praise the lord 
and while you're cleaning up or he asks you to clean up the area and what you do is you fish in that pond on your beach it, it still counts that's that's like easy work for a quest if you want advice how many copper bars does she currently have zero why did i think she already had extra copper bars yeah i have too many save files we can never go to bed all right guys that's going to conclude this episode thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe to share it and to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified the next time god blesses me to upload another video lord willing also don't forget the fact that i love you guys but jesus loves us all best god bless bye Mwah.